and we ended the Night of the North production in this room. Um, it was originally choreographed with a dancer, so um, I don't normally have people looking at me whenever I sit the poem, I normally watch The Beautiful Dancer. Um, so if I get nervous, that's why. Um, I Think She Was a She by Leila Josephine. I think she was a she. No, I know she was a she, and I think she would have looked exactly like me. Full cheeks, big eyes, and thick brown hair that I could have plaited into dreams at night. I would have stuck up glow-up stars in the ceiling and told her there were fireflies to protect her from the dark. I would have told her stories of her grandfather, and we could have fed the swans at Victoria, Victoria Park. She would have been like you, too. Long limbs, a sarcastic smile, and the newest pair of kicks. And she would have been tough, tougher than I ever was. And I would have taught her all that my mother taught me. And I would have taken her to the museum, and there we would see the bone dinosaurs. And she could look to them and wonder about all the things that came before she was born. She could have been born. And I would have made sure that there was space on the wall to measure her height as she grew. I would have made sure that I was a good mother to look up to. But I would have supported her right to choose, to choose a path for herself, a life for herself. I would have died for that right like she died for mine. I'm sorry, but you came at the wrong time. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I'm so sick of keeping these words contained. I am not ashamed. I was a teenage girl with a boy she loved between her thighs that felt very far away. Duvet days and dull. Don't do family planning well. I am one in three. I am one in three. I am one in three. I had to carve down that little cherry tree that had rooted itself in my body and blossomed in my brain. A responsibility I didn't have the age or energy to maintain. Branches casting shadows over the rest of my garden. Thoughts getting harder, causing my heart to harden. I am not ashamed. It's a hollowness that feels full, a numbness that feels heavy. Stop trying to fit how this feels on an NHS breathing brochure already. I am allowed to feel it all. I am allowed to feel. I am woman now. I am made of steel, and she wasn't a girl, and she wasn't a boy. That's just the bullshit you received to keep you out of Parliament and stuck on maternity leave. Don't you matter. Murder on me. 70,000 per year, 70,000 per year, 70,000 year dead. That's 192 per day from coat hangers, painkillers, the back alleyway way. Don't you matter. Murder on me. Worldwide performing abortions like homework, written in the palms and the grooves of our bellies, only to be confronted with a question mark. Women have been hidden away in the history books. After all, it's history. His story. Well, this is her story. Our story. God damn it, this is my story. And it will not be written with pencil and erased with guilt. It'll be written with pen and spoken with courage. You will hear it on the radio on your way to work. You will see it in the coffee shop bulletin board next to the flyer about yoga for babies. Because I am not ashamed. I'm so sick of keeping these words contained. I am woman now. I will not be tamed. I have a determination that this termination will still have a form of creation because this is my body. This is my body. This is my body. And I don't care about your ignorant views. When I become a mother, it will be when I choose.